Sadly, no one told me that high heels were not a special occasion shoe. I was under the impression that I had to be going to an event in order for me to wear the high heels that I have obtained throughout my middle school years. And instead of wearing them for casually, I waited until I had an event such as choir recitals or debates that I was enrolled in. So I missed out on the opportunity to wear high heels for a very long time. College came. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna have to come back. Pause you. Pause. As I said, I had two pairs of high heels throughout my high school career, and not one time did I decide to wear them casually. And I look back on that time and I do regret it because throughout my high school career, I felt like a less version of myself. And those high heels would have really amplified my confidence and charisma. I guess I grew out of these. Oh, that's so sad. Okay, well, we're not gonna zip them. <laughs> That's okay. That's okay. So, college came. And I bought these shoes thinking I was hot shit. 
I felt like a woman for the first time. I remember putting these heels on, standing in front of the mirror and seeing the way that my hips, thighs, and ass all connected into my legs into one. It was beautiful. It was marvelous. I felt like a superhero, Elastigirl to be specific. <laughs> and I knew instantly that I was not prepared I was not prepared to do womanly things. I was not prepared to act like a woman, to walk like a woman, although I did get that walk down packed, okay? I was practicing, but I was not prepared for it. So I took these heels off. I was like, no, I cannot. <laughs> I cannot do that. Um, I was afraid of getting pregnant too early, so I didn't really want to be very sexual. And these shoes made me feel very sexual. So I didn't wear these shoes as much as I had hoped for it. I had hoped to wear these shoes casually with maybe like a skirt or some shorts or even leggings. And I did a few times. I wore them hanging out with my friends, partying and studying at the library. But they were highly uncomfortable. Well, not even uncomfortable. I just did not have the stamina to wear these shoes on a college campus. I remember walking around the college and my calf muscles started hurting and I was like, fuck that. So I took these shoes off. But yeah, they were a little bit way too grown for me. So I'm glad I did because who knows what trouble I would have gotten into. Why did I buy these hair shoes? My God. Yeah, they don't. See, they see it. They don't see it either. Yeah. I don't know how they would shrink. <laughs> Just being a pussy. <laughs> like, what's going on there? Be the last time I put these on. The memories. Oh, baby, these are sliding around. These are not good. They're actually falling apart. <laughs> decaying <laughs> these ones are high <laughs> these shoes you guys these were my damn sink shoes i was out there like <laughs> I was having a good time. I was like, Whoa. <laughs> but sadly, um, these were short lived. I was stumbling through like downtown area. I was like, <laughs> my stumbling shoes. <laughs> oh my god, I was drunk in these heels. Drunk in love, having a good time, enjoying myself. It was fun. I never know what to say when I'm receiving compliments. Most times I'll just say thank you and keep it moving. But I'm so awkward and I want to say so much more. Like, I'm the common denominator. Or how long have you been watching me for? I didn't say either. I just said thank you. And I looked off into space wondering if I should say those things or if you would think I was flirting with him. Anyway. Like my stumbling shoes. These I would wear like when I was drunk. <laughs> in college having a good time sadly they don't zip anymore they're like they're old they're also falling apart 
but the memories that we're having here they were a lot of fun they were a lot of fun oh i'm so sad i'm never gonna wear these heels again <laughs> It's okay. Anyway, so the next pair after this. Oh, gotcha. I had. Can you see the good ones yet? The common denominator is me. So I had to shake my ass for a little bit of change. When I was 19 years old, I moved to the city. <laughs> I moved to the city and I needed a job because I had to pay these bills. So sadly, I had to get on the pole and dance a little, but it's okay. Y'all, I only danced for three days, okay? I didn't make a career out of this, but I definitely had to pay some bills. It was me and my best friend from college at the time. We moved to St. Louis, of all places. Honestly, it wasn't even we. Let's just say she moved down there, and then I moved down there to help her. And... Honestly, I wasn't really that much help. I ended up getting on the pole for three days so I could pay a bill. And I got off right back off that pole because um, the environment, the people that I had to encounter. Oh, my God, you guys, it was filthy in there. It was disgusting. It was not for me. It was not for me. And then keep in mind, I was 19. I was young. I was I wasn't naive. Thank the fucking Lord. But I was young and I was experiencing life out there on my own for the first time with the only support system being my best friend who was only like a year or two older than me. It was awful. It was ratchet. It was not a good time. And if y'all would like to hear story times about the three days that I spent in a strip club, I would love to tell you. But let me just say the men that I met in them there in there, there was a variety of them but they all had a common denominator which is that they spent their free time <laughs> in a strip club <laughs> so i was there <laughs> and luckily i took those heels off fast as fuck wearing fucking slippers like a boring woman Working around in scrubs all day. Life was not living to the fullest. But then I got bored and I was like, I need to liven up my life just a bit. Because I'll be damned if I'm wearing fucking flats all the time. So I bought some fun shoes to have fun with. <laughs> And this is where you found me. You found me out here having fun in my high heels. And you know what? I prefer it this way. I would rather be strutting around in six inch platforms than to be wearing two inch flats. That is not the life I subscribe to. That is not the life I was promised and I'm going to live the life that I was promised. So, these are my heels. And if you like them, and like to see more of them like the video because i will be posting them a lot more a lot more these shoes are so much fun honestly like a lot of fun a lot of fun i could run in these <laughs> i wouldn't run in these <laughs> but i could if i wanted to <laughs> i could if i wanted to but i wouldn't <laughs> i wouldn't want to <laughs> okay, but uh, honorable mention, and then I will let you go. So I'm actually going to leave the story times right here. I don't want this video to get too long or too salacious when I pull out the next pair of heels. <laughs> So <laughs> I'm going to leave it here. If you'd like to hear more stories about the things that I've done in my heels, please do like, subscribe, and come back because I'm sure my journey has not ended. For now, farewell. And my stockings always happen. 
one of the things that deterred me from wearing stockings at church because I always felt like <laughs> I was not taking care of my things properly. When I was, 